ladies and gentlemen, this story comes out of Baltimore. There was a teacher that used the principal's voice to do a racist rant in AI. And the teacher has since been charged, you know, although there are no AI laws on the books in Baltimore. In fact, not many across the country. So racist AI generated recording prompts calls for new laws, better technology. Yes, you know, anytime you come out with a new technology like AI, it's always someone that's going to abuse it. I mean, make no mistake about it. Everybody's not going to do that. You know, most people won't, but you always got this element out here that will do these things. And of course, and it's always the same people, y'all. It's never anybody different. It's always the same people doing these things. And, you know, you can expect misuse and abuse of AI and any other technology they come out with. All right, so they're saying, in fact, this is one of the first that they're finding around the country where a teacher, I guess he did not like the principal, took the principal's voice and made a racist rant out of it. This is according to Baltimore County State Attorney. As we dug into this a little more, it seemed very clear that we may need to make our way down to Annapolis and the legislator next year to make some adaptions to bring the laws up to date with the technology that was being used. Schellenberger made those comments yesterday. Baltimore County Police announced charges. And now this person's name is Dazon Darren. And this is Pikeville High School. And this person was the athletic director. Investigators say Darren used AI to create a fake racist audio recording of Pikeville High School principal, resulting in a federal investigation and the temporary removal of the principal. In this particular case, we obviously had some statutes that were right on point, but we do in fact need to take a look at some others. For instance, the charge of disrupting school activities only carry a six-month sentence. Certainly something we need to take a look at, but we also need to take a broader look at how this technology can be used and abused to harm other people, Schellenberger said. So one of the representatives said that Baltimore County, there are currently no laws on the books centered on AI and agrees this should change. To be specific to AI, there isn't a law because it's such a new technology. There are laws with impersonation and fraudulently misrepresenting yourself or another, but this certainly is so harmful. And you look at what people can do so damaging using AI to impersonate other people. So they added, you know, they stand with this Baltimore attorney general. The laws certainly need to be updated. We've seen this and they, they're, you know, they're going into a whole different subject matter, which I'm not going to touch on because it has nothing to do with what we're talking about. You know, I, I know they're saying this is a first of its kind, but I don't think it is. I just think that people have not gotten in trouble up until now because the technology is new. And like they said, a lot of places don't have any laws for AI, at least for now. But, you know, that will change, of course. So 
they're just saying that they need to invest in new technology that identifies and protects against these emerging attacks and will likely require us to examine laws at both the state and federal levels to ensure that this new technology and those still yet to come cannot be used in ways that harm individuals in our community. So the police will have to update and modernize to keep up with criminals. The government is going to have to step up and invest in tools to protect the public from crimes like this that could potentially ruin someone's life. So the person that did this, this Dazon Darren, according to what it says that um, he bonded out of jail and is due in court on June 11th. So y'all, you know, these technologies will always be abused. You know, no matter what, even when laws are on the books, you're still going to have people out here abusing these type of tools that are out there. So this person must have really had it in for this principle in order for this to happen. Yeah. So anyway, y'all going to have to tell me what you think about this video, please leave your comment and subscribe. Don't forget to hit on the notification bell and I'll see you on the next video. Peace, family.